For the last few years, The Crown has been one of TV's most talked about shows, hasn't it? And today sees the release of the final controversial series featuring the death of Princess Diana. Well, our royal editor, Russell Myers, joins me now alongside Princess Diana's former butler, Paul Burrell. And Paul, that was hard for all of us to watch there, um, but for you... I watch it. Uh, no, I know you couldn't. You turned away, didn't no, you? No. I, I, I am over-emotional anyway, but um, I can't watch that. No. Because that's just... It's too graphic. It it's, is. It's too it much. And, that, and it will upset William and Harry. And mm. It'll upset a lot of people mm. watching that. That's true. It's very emotional, isn't it? It is, mm. and it's very controversial, Russell. It a is. lot of people have been saying, you know, we don't really want to see that. I mean, you don't actually see the crash, for goodness sake. I hope. You, you don't, don't No, you that. certainly right. don't, but okay. the, the drama leading up to it and right. uh, the, okay. sort of the crash scene is sort of replayed time and time again. Mm. It starts right off into the, the... It kicks off the, the sixth series. And, of course, uh, you know, it takes us right up to... Uh, to the, to the crash and sort of the fallout as well. And, and the series takes you up to 2005, and that feels very, very recent. I think mm. it's too decent. Yeah. Mm. I, personally, I feel as if it's too decent. Paul, we're watching mm. it. You lived it. Mm. You know, you lived through there. all of mm. this. And is it quite difficult to watch? I mean, it's, it's mm. difficult to watch any of these events, but even the actress who's playing Diana, because yeah. sometimes it's uncanny. It is uncanny, isn't How it? much she looks like her. Yeah, and how she sounds like her. Yeah. Um, I, I'm finding this very difficult this series, yeah. and I don't know whether I, I can watch it. I find it easier to watch the beginning, the first series of The right. Crown, oh, because that's far enough away, isn't it, yes. in history, for us not to be emotionally involved and yes. invested in it. Mm. But this series, I am emotionally invested in it, and I'm going to be very critical of it, because this is a dramatisation. Mm -hmm. it, it's Hollywood budget. It's not real life. And I personally think that, you know, the princess was misrepresented and misinterpreted all her life. Yeah. And here we go again mm -hmm. with the crown. It's not the real Diana. The real Diana I knew was a fighter. Yeah. She wasn't shy and retiring. She fought for what she believed in and she fought for her boys. Especially by that stage of her life, she was yes. very, very much so. This is the thing, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? Because They've said, Netflix have said, this is a drama based on historical events, mm. Russell. But at the end of the day, I don't know that people, particularly young people watching this, mm. will get that. We'll be able to separate well, no, the reality I, I, from the drama. And I think you, you point on Elizabeth Debicki's masterful yes. performance. And not only, oh, you know, she's incredible. got everything down to a T, the mannerisms, mm. the looks out of the corner of her eyes. Mm. But uh, it, I, I think the, the playing of the Diana's ghost, which reappears, sort of, Weird. It, it's not very much, but it is t Weird. It's two times too many. Yeah. In my view, and it, it's kind of spoiled the narrative mm. for me. But um, it, 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 uh, it, it is. But it might be strange to watch it. But she is the ghost that will forever haunt mm. the House of Windsor. Actually, that's a very good point. Mm. That's and a she very will always be relevant because her son will one day be king. So it, it is a little silly at parts. I'd love to be on everyone's sofa at home and say, "No, that didn't happen. <laughs> I know that never happened." We should have you, you, you co the, your commentary <laughs> while it's while it's going because you go, "No, that never happened because yeah. I know because I was there." Obviously, they feature the relationship with uh, with Dodie, mm. um, but interestingly, this was a very short relationship. Let's yeah. have a look. Let's have a look at a clip of the two of them together, and then I want to get I'm your I'm take on it, Paul. He got his shot there, didn't he? Um, and kind of that was, in a way, what it was all about, Paul. What, what do mm. you think? I mean, they weren't together very long. Do people realise that that romance lasted for 30 days? Gosh, a month. That was all From beginning to end. Really? Absolutely. That was not the love of Diana's life. So what was going on there then, do you think? Well, I think, personally, because she spoke to me every day when she was on the yacht and she'd ring me and say, has Hasnut seen the papers? Has he seen that shot that we've just done on deck? Is this Has Hasna, he, who Hasna she Khan, loved? Ah, the, the heart The Pakistani surgeon. heart surgeon. She did love him, didn't she? She loved him. Mm. And she said, well, what does he think about it? I said, well, I don't know. Go and have a pint with him. Find out. So I'd go and have a drink with Hasna and report back to the princess. And she, I said, he's furious with you. There you are displaying yourself with another Muslim man on the other side of the world. He's not happy with you. Right. And when you come back, He's going to tell you that, and he's going to tell you what for. And she never came back. Do you think a lot of it was because, I mean, I think that he probably, you know, has that, she loved him very, very much. She did. And was this to make him jealous? jealous or absolutely. Do you think so? Yes. Really? And I wow. think Mohammed al fayed was the puppet master behind <gasps> Dodi, and he was really? facilitating Diana because we went to Harrods one day and she said, you'll never guess what Mohammed said to me just now. He said, I want you to marry my son. 
She has not even met his son. Oh, jeez. And of course, he had a relationship with somebody else, didn't yes. he, just before yes, that? Yes, he did, so... with Kelly Fisher. Yeah. Who, incidentally, had a ring very like the princess's engagement ring. So this Bizarre. manipulation behind the scenes was going on, and Diana didn't realise that she was caught in that trap. Mm. But she was using it for her own ends, too. Because yeah, she knew she was getting a photograph taken. She, she, it was she had staged. this uncanny ability to know where the camera was. She knew. She, knew. she absolutely knew, which is, again, fascinating, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think the, the things that will be controversial mm. in this is, you know, we mentioned Diana's ghost, it's a, but it's, it's really sort of the, how the, it played out for the boys, I think. Yeah. And you talk about, I think it will be very, very... Raw for, for raw fans or members of the royal mm. family if they do indeed tune in. Um, I'm not too sure whether they will. I don't think However, they will, do you? Um, no, no, absolutely not. No. I don't think they will. I don't watch think that. any televisions nah. will be switched on in raw residence. I don't think they'll watch it. Another really, obviously, really powerful part of the story, and again, you were there, Paul, is when Charles goes to Paris mm. to collect Diana's body. Let's have a look. Mm. A nightmare. And Paul, you were actually there mm. at the time when all of that was happening. You were in the room. Mm. I got there before. The Prince of Wales. I was there first thing in the morning with the princess as she was being prepared. And um, he arrived and he came down the corridor with the two sisters. And he was visibly shaken and he came up to me and said, Are you all right, old thing? I said, I'm fine, Royal Highness. Yeah, the Queen's worried about you. And oh, also, will, William and Harry wondered, wondered if you were okay. Yeah. I said, Yes, I'm fine. I'm doing my job. I'm doing what mm. I think mm -hmm. I should be doing. Oh, sh should I go in and see her? I said, I think you should. Yes, you've come an awful long way. So I showed him into the room where the princess was and he stayed in there for a while and he came out and he was drained. I bet he I saw the reality hit him. Of course. That of the course. mother of his children was dead. Of course. It's just, it, it really, it just brings it back. It doesn't feel... It doesn't feel that long ago at all. No. One of the things that I know, again, is going to be really controversial is the portrayal of the Queen. Mm. Because um, by all accounts, and you've seen it and I've not, but by all accounts, she does not come out of this very well at all. She's probably the character that comes off least favourably. Really? It is quite favourable to Charles and right. Diana, I okay. think, and okay. the sort of muddleness of their mm. relationship. But I think Imelda Salton plays the, the, the stoicness of the Queen rather well. Right. However, you know, she had this huge tussle in her mind. Should she go to, to London? London, mm. as she was being advised to by Tony Blair, or should she, as she mm. said, instead of being the grandmother of the nation, be the grandmother to the two boys at the centre mm. of it? Mm. And, uh... I mean, I remember at the time, the crown wobbled, didn't it, Paul? Mm, I mean, it, it really did. People were not happy. How do you feel about uh, the, how the Queen uh, has been portrayed? I'm not happy because I knew the Queen very well. I stood beside her for 11 years. I knew her intimately. I know uh, she would not want to be portrayed like that. She was a kind, warm, generous, funny lady who you'd want to be your gran. Yeah, yeah. And it's just that people didn't get to see her. She was a rather remote figure to yeah. most people. Yeah. Um, and I, I loved her. I was very moved when she died. Um, she was the beating heart of our nation. Um, what so, can I say? She, yeah. I think it's unfair. Again, she's being misrepresented and misinterpreted. Mm. It's not Imelda Staunton's fault. She's just reading the lines. Yeah. It's the way it's been written. It's been written for a reason. Mm. I mean, Diane has been written as a lonely um, figure who is cast out and uh, vulnerable. And she wasn't, she was a fighter. And the Queen's been written as someone hard and cold and didn't care. She couldn't win the Queen. Mm. Either stay at Balmoral with her grandchildren and family and keep them safe, or come south to address the people. In the end, she did both. Yeah. yeah, she did, actually. You're right. She You're absolutely the gap. Right. Well, look, people can make their minds up, can't they? Part one of the final season, it's, it's on Netflix right now, and as we said, they say it is a drama based on historical events, but very few of us were actually there, like Paul Burrow. Thank you both very much indeed.